up everybody, Instructor Beats here with Linear Equations, hopping on the tracks to greatness. This is our second video in our Linear Equation playlist, and today we're going to be talking about the properties of linear and nonlinear equations. So let's just get this train moving out of the station, and let's get our learn on today. Our objective today, today I will be able to know the properties of linear and nonlinear equations and identify an equation as linear or nonlinear. So some of you might be wondering, what the heck does linear and nonlinear mean? Which leads us directly into our math vocabulary. So our first math vocabulary is equation in x. And what we mean by that when we're saying equation in x, an equation in x is a mathematical statement with a variable, and that variable is going to be an x, and then also an equal sign, right? So basically, we're looking at an equation written with a variable as an x, hence equation in x. An expression, we talked about this the last video, uh, but it's good to review. An expression is the two sides of the equal sign, right? So we consider the equal sign to be a balance, and on either side of that, we have two expressions that the equal sign is telling us. We can assume, as far as we know right now, that they are balanced and equal to each other. A linear expression is an expression where the terms, and again, that talks uh, goes back to our math vocabulary from last video, the terms are raised to zero or the first power. In other words, basically, they're not squared or cubed or raised to any power other than zero or one, which keeps them as one or itself. And when you graph it, what makes a linear expression very special is it graphs as a straight line. So if you were to plot the points on an ordered pair chart um, and then put them onto a coordinate plane, they would graph and make a straight line. Which leads us to our next vocabulary word, a nonlinear expression, which is not going to graph as a straight line. It actually graphs as a curve. But really when you're looking at it, if you haven't graphed it, it's an expression where one or more terms are raised to the second or higher power. In other words, you're going to see an exponent for a nonlinear expression, and for a linear expression, you're not going to see any terms with exponents. That's really the difference that we're focusing on today. And then when you take them to a coordinate plane, like I said, the linear expression is going to graph as a straight line, hence line, linear, linear. And the nonlinear is non-straight, or not a straight line. So the definition is really just in the words, but let's look at a couple different equations and try to figure out what we're talking about today. Here we have four different expressions in x. In other words, we have an expression that is written with a variable that's an x, and we're going to take them to the train depot, take a look at them, and then send them off to the right place. Either they're linear or nonlinear. Okay, so our first one is 45 minus x, and when I look at these terms, I don't see any exponents, right? I don't see a 2 or a 3 or raised to the fifth power. So we're going to call this a linear equation. When I look at 2x squared plus 9x minus 3, I see right here that one of my terms, and again, your terms, right, are the things that are separated by the addition and subtraction sign, right? So these are my three terms. One of my terms is raised to the second power, which makes this a nonlinear equation. So we're going to move it to the nonlinear equation part of our train tracks. This next one in the train depot is x plus 9x raised to the sixth power minus 3. Again, we have three different terms in our expression, and one of them is raised to a power that is 2 or greater, which makes it go, it's going to graph as a curve. So we are going to label this as a nonlinear expression over here. And then here I have my last one. I have 3x minus 8x minus 9. Again, I have three different terms. I have one constant, uh, coefficient variable, coefficient and variable, just to review some vocabulary terms. And none of my terms are raised to a power uh, greater than 1, which makes this a linear equation. In other words, I don't see any exponents in my linear expression, which makes this a linear equation slash expression. All right, so for our we do, if you're ready to try this by yourself, go ahead and write down these four in our notebook. 
uh, make your little T-chart right here, and then try to separate them uh, or categorize them uh, correctly. Push play, and we'll see how you did. If you're not ready to try it, don't worry. We can do it together. So the first one going to our train depot is 5 plus 2x minus 8. I have two constants and then a coefficient of variable here, which makes three different terms. None of them are raised to a power greater than 1, which makes this a linear expression or linear equation is what we're talking about today. My next one is x plus 2. Again, none of these terms are raised to uh, the higher than the first power, which makes this go under our linear equation part of our T-chart. And then our last two, I think we can just do together because I can see both of them have a term. They only have two terms each, but both of them have a term that is raised to the second power or higher, which automatically makes this a non-linear equation based on our definitions that we knew. Okay. Um, again, we're not getting into this, this playlist, but our linear equations are going to graph as a straight line when you graph them. And our non-linear equations, because they have an exponent two or higher is actually going to graph as a curve. Hopefully this has been enlightening to you, learning a little bit about uh, linear and nonlinear equations. We're going to continue talking about linear equations for the rest of our playlist. Thank you so much for checking us out on Instructed Beats today. We hope you'll stick with us. Check out the rest of our playlist. Check out our songs at uh, YouTube channel at Instructed Beats Official. Please follow us on Instagram at, at InstructaBeats. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. Instructor Beats out.